The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast Earthquake in Caesarea, Western Armenia. Artsakh's urban development authorities work on new housing stock. The findings of Tigrana Gert to be returned to Stepana Gert in peaceful conditions. Nagorno Karabakh captives must be released, UN experts. Kurdish language platform in Turkey demanding official status to Kurdish from Erdogan. Astronomy referring to the 6th Tarmuz festival in Yerevan. Yerevan to host international Duduk festival. The soldier standing at the border must realize his history and culture. Interview with David Agajanyan. According to the Department of Emergency Situations, six consecutive earthquakes were registered in Staroglan province of Caesarea, Western Armenia, the strongest of which was estimated at 4.6. The epicenter is located in Staroglan province. The quake was felt in Sebastia, the capital of Caesarea. Citizens panicked due to the earthquake and cracks appeared in the walls of some houses. The villages of the neighboring Kamarak province have been monitored. No emergency situations has been detected. The Ministry of Urban Development of the Republic of Artsakh has ordered new projects for creating a new housing stock in Stepanakert city and elsewhere in the country and providing apartments to displaced citizens. Armen Press reports, the ministry already has a blueprint for the construction of a 100-home residential district in the village of Varanda in Martoni. The ministry said, adding that they are already working on the digital terrain model for another 150-home construction project in Asthashen, Askeran. The government plans to build a housing stock in Askeran with 246 apartments and in Martoni with 130. Another 100 homes will be built in the village of Aknabert in Shahumyan for displaced citizens of Artsakh. The head of the Tigrana Gert Excavation Group, head of the Chair of Culture of Yerevan State University, Doctor of Historical Sciences, Professor Hamlet Petrosyan, responded to Beko's next lender, noting that the archaeological finds of Tigrana Gert are the property of Artsakh people. In case of peace, they will be returned to Stepana Gert and will be displayed in the museum to be created for them. According to Hamlet Petrosyan, the Tigrana Gert archaeological excavation was carried out with the official invitation and permission of the Artsakh authorities. They were financed from the Artsakh state budget. The fact that Artsakh is not politically recognized does not deprive its indigenous people from their right of culture. The Azerbaijani ideology of depriving Artsakh people from their cultural heritage is a continuation of genocide of the Armenian cultural heritage. The genocide that we have witnessed for decades, the genocide that has gained momentum during Azerbaijan's recent Turkish aggression, continues every day. UN human rights experts called for the prompt release of prisoners of war and other captives from the recent Nagorno-Karabakh conflict and for the return of bodies to families for burial. The Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights reports. They mentioned that they are alarmed at allegations that prisoners of war and other protected people have been subjected to extrajudicial killing, enforced disappearance, torture and other ill treatment. No exceptional circumstances whatsoever, whether a state of war, internal political instability or any other public emergency may be invoked as a justification of torture and enforced disappearances. Such acts when perpetrated in armed conflict may also constitute war crimes, experts reported. A speaker of a Kurdish language platform, Sheref Han Jiziri, applied to Turkish President Erdogan with a letter demanding to give Kurdish an official status. As reported by Armen Press, Gazete Duvar news agency reports, the Kurdish language, which has been assimilated for 100 years, is now on the verge of extinction. As you often say, assimilation is a crime against humanity. Let us all stand against it together. Let's find it together. As a Kurdish language platform, we have repeatedly wanted to meet with you and the AK party leaders. Unfortunately, our efforts have been in vain, says the letter. The astronomy magazine covering the current issues of astronomy and astronautics, which is the most popular and most read in the world in terms of its content, dedicated a special article to the 6th Tarmus International Festival of Science and Art to be held in Armenia in 2021 on December 2020. The article mentions that world-renowned scientists, astronomers and artists will gather in Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, on September 6 to 11 to discuss the latest discoveries and inventions in various fields of science. The 6th Tarmus Festival will be organized under the auspices of President of the Republic of Armenia, Armen Sarkisyan, with the support of the Government of the Republic of Armenia. The initiative of bringing the festival to Armenia belongs to the President of the Republic of Armenia, Armen Sarkisyan. President Sarkisyan first spoke about this idea at the 5th Tarmus Festival in Zurich in 2019, where he was invited to deliver a welcoming speech.
to document production company and lecturer at Yerevan State Conservatory Emanuel Hovanisyan have initiated an international Duduk Festival contest to take place in Yerevan from April 5 to May 5. As the organizers of the festival report, the event is aimed at promoting the legacy of the Armenian unique instrument as well as revealing new talents among young musicians. The festival contest is open to young Duduk players under 22 from all over the world. The contest will take place in three stages. All performances of the contest will be recorded and shared on social media platforms of Dudukman Production. The best musicians will have an opportunity to cooperate with well-known musicians as well as take master classes from best specialists of the sphere. The jury of the competition will comprise renowned musicians and specialists. The deadline for participation is March 15 with submission to be sent to dudukman at mail.ru and dudukman at gmail.com email addresses. On Western Armenia TV, the head of the Tirs Center for Ermanology, public figure David Agajanyan, presented the activities of the organization in Moscow, which is aimed at preserving the Armenian identity. He referred to the Artsakh War and post-war programs and initiatives he implemented together with more than 1,000 volunteers. He reminded that not only Artsakh was lost, but also Western Armenia, Javakh, Nakhijevan, Akhil Kalaki, Silesia, 70 to 80 percent of the real Armenian territories which must be returned. Speaking about future plans, he mentioned that he intends to develop sports in Yerevan and later in the regions as well, for which sports equipment will be installed in different districts. Now I present you a performance by Nubar Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.